Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd doing a little bit of a different type of review here. This actually is a pretty big set of two boxes I got from Amazon. What's in here is uh, some media storage. Hold they, oh, excuse me, it'll hold over a thousand CDs, lesser of other media, and uh, that's it. I just wanted to show how they arrived in box. I've been wanting something that'll hold a lot of media for a long time and I finally got it. Anyway, making a guest appearance in this video is my dog Max. Hi Max. Nope, no words. Alright. Anyway, that's it. Okay guys, I assembled this monstrosity. It took me a couple hours to do it, maybe oh, somewhere between an hour and a half and two hours, which isn't too bad. Now, the reason you only see a part of this uh, device item is it's so darn freaking tall um, it's extremely large you know extremely tall uh, starting off here all we got is uh, the top and we work it work it down it's things over five feet tall so as you can see very large and massive uh, the unit is as you can see on a swivel so it's got four sides um, now I did the math on this. Each one of these shells here, if you limit yourself to CDs, okay, each one of these holds 26 uh, standard jewel cases, right? 26 of these, and there are 40 shelves. So 26 times 40 is 1,040. That's how many CDs this will hold if you fill it up completely, which is obviously a whole lot of CDs. Now there is uh, one problem with this unit. Um, think, you know, obviously this is a standard, it's it's wider than a standard DVD, but it's the same height. And as you can see, with the shelves configured for CDs, DVDs, or Blu-ray, or whatever else, it's not going to fit on there. Now, uh, the problem with that is, uh, the only way you can use all 36 of the shelves, because it comes with 36 shelves, four of the shelves, you know how I said there are 40, four of them are obviously just the bottom of the unit, they're not, you know, these removable shelves. It comes with 36 of these shelves, and the only way to utilize them all correctly to where you can actually store media on them is to have them at the height required for CD. Yes, I could uh, move some around, but... The problem is if I accommodate different sized media, some of the shells will actually be unusable. They'll be too short to use for any media. I might do this because I don't have 1,040 CDs yet. One day I will. I'm getting there. But currently I don't. So what I might end up doing is one side of this I might rearrange for DVDs. Uh, but right now I just wanted to show this part of the video with the unit entirely empty. So... Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause right here. I'm going to load this sucker up and we will come back uh, with this uh, some video of this fully loaded up as well as some final words about the unit. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys, here I am back with this thing loaded up with media. And uh, as you can see, we got one side here completely full of CDs. Looks pretty cool. I'll load it up. And I'll just go ahead and rotate it around. That way you can see uh, some more CDs there. More CDs there. Now we're running into uh, my main issue with this unit. As you can see, we got DVDs and stuff sideways. Because like I said, as this thing is configured... Uh, but Now, I don't have... A, you know, I haven't filled this completely up, obviously. The main issue with this is, you know, using media other than CDs. Um, and I even got a box set here on top, you know, that won't fit inside on the shelves because it's, it's too large. So, anyway, um, like I said, my, that's my main issue with this unit overall is just the fact that, you know, it's, it's just uh, really designed mostly for CDs. Now... I guess the final question is, would I recommend this unit? Um, if you are a, a CD maniac, right, and you think you'll eventually have a thousand CDs, I would recommend this in a heartbeat. Uh, yes. If you want to store a variety of different types of media on here, uh, it's much more difficult to recommend. 
uh, simply because of the fact that of the way this unit is designed. Um, there are better options out there if you want to store a wider variety of media, but I think you're not going to find a better unit that is going to store uh, CDs in a so many CDs in a fairly compact way. You can store a very large amount of CDs in a relative. Now, this is by no means a small thing. This it's it's a very large unit, but you're not going to be able to store a thousand CDs uh, and you know have ready access to them all in a more compact way than this. So anyway, that wraps this whole thing up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did like what you see, you know, please thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.